was, that was another part in like the book I, or another one of my books I read, and they were just saying how beneficial travel can be. You know what I mean? And like you said, like we fortunate to like play in different countries, not just in one country, but we might go to one continent, then go to the next continent. So we've seen so many cultures, and of course, all the cultures aren't the same as that, how it is in America, but mm -hmm. they still get along yeah. and they function just fine. So it kind of lets you know, like, you can live many different ways and, and harmonize and be yeah. at peace with each other. So, like, but the thing about the States is, like, sometimes we so far shut off from other cultures and what other the the rest of the world doing that it could be a negative thing for us. You know what I mean? It is, like, man. I almost like every basketball player that I met that hooped overseas, they always have an adjustment coming from the states to where we could be, whether it be like Luxembourg and Europe or Uruguay and South America, or even like an English speaking country like England and Australia is still an adjustment. Mm -hmm. And it's just cause like, I just say that it's just tough for Americans cause we just show, so shut off. Like I remember growing up, I can, I mean, we've grown, learned about different countries in, in history class and geography and I'm like, bro, I'm never going there, <laughs> and I probably would never relate to them. Why are we learning about this? You know what I mean? And like, I'm thankful I learned about it now, but oh, at the time, it just ain't make sense to me. But I don't know, America, we got some. We got to change our way. Yeah, we got to change our way, bro. Because I actually did an interview with one of my old friends before that. He was the he was the guy that um. He actually got nine championships. He had just won his ninth. We did an interview. Y'all go check that out on my page, Arnold Starts Podcast. It's called Goat Talk with my boy Jonathan Rodriguez. And then I asked him, I was like, if you could give like some advice to, you know, athletes or whoever wants to start the game, and that's what he said. Being able to adjust. You gotta be able to adjust to the new situations and new teams and countries that you go to, they're not going to adjust to you. You got to learn to adjust to them because this is there from here. This is all they know. And us as Americans, we have, or English speaking country, we have the hardest time adjusting. We just think that I'm King Tut, like y'all supposed to bow down to me yeah. or whatever. I'm like, no, that's not, how do you tell somebody that? You're talking about exactly centuries of cultures of people being a certain way, and you're just gonna come in here and just act like I'm better than you, and I'm gonna just come up here. I'm gonna come in your house and kick your things over, put my feet up. We <laughs> 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 your couch. <laughs> they <ain't> your bell, your couch. <laughs> I just do that to your spouse, like to your place. Like you can't have that type of mindset. You gotta have an open mindset. And just change the way you think and learn to just be a chameleon and just adjust to everything. Just break. We got to break free of that that open that closed mindset. It'll just it's a better life. It's just it just really yeah. is a better life. Like you were saying, I remember you talked about that on a uh, a podcast we did a couple couple weeks ago, like saying like uh, just how you got to be successful to playing overseas, and then I think. I think I answer with like your biggest one. You gotta adjust, man. Cause mm. and not only that, you gotta adjust quickly. Quick, cause you know, <laughs> yeah, they don't do things the same way as we, as we do in states. But hey, what you gonna do? It is what it is. We we win their country, and then on top of that, it's like you know they ain't got the same food. You know, yes, we uh, Yeah, the whole the whole demographic is just, just different. You know what I mean? But. If you really love the game and if you really try to like continue, you know, being a basketball player for a long time, you best adjust. Because if you don't, they gonna send you home. You are gonna be on yeah. quick, and you don't want to have that yeah. situation. Like we got a new guy that just came to our team, right? Um, mm -hmm. He been on the team before, and one of the things the coach asked him was like, "Hey, why did you get cut from the last team?" This was like over a year ago. And he was like, bro, I didn't even get cut. I had like a shoulder injury that I had to leave. But it just goes to show like how hard it is and how just one thing could come back around and they're questioning you about it from a year mm -hmm. ago from a situation that you didn't even have any control of. So for the younger guys who can't adjust and then you get cut, well, he really couldn't adjust to here, you know, 
if this this guy was luckily he was an MVP of the league before in this league in the first division, so he got pulled. And he played for the team for two years, so he got pulled. But if you're a new team, a new athlete, a new player trying to come in, you're in your first and second year in, why did you leave the team? What happened with that last situation? Oh, this, no. You know what? We're not even going to waste our time with this, that, and the third. And that's a real thing. Mm -hmm. You got to really, like I said, for, like for me, that happened with me with a job. I had a job. Good one. They asked me something from eight years ago. I didn't get a job from eight years ago that I, I had nothing to do with it. I, I'm not even going to say that. I'm going to take full accountability for everything that happens with me. If I did, it didn't happen, it didn't happen. But they still brought that up. And if I didn't have one, you know what I'm saying, I had such a great resume and worked so hard to keep my resume up to par, that can be the make or break from you even making it or getting another job in the future. So, Hey, guys. Thanks for tuning in to the show. Please subscribe on our YouTube, Spotify, Apple, and wherever you listen to your podcast. I greatly appreciate it.